seeing small, you know, from my small vantage point inside, there is tremendous c connection of these two men and moral clarity of seeing what's happening. And my, my question is this, and to anyone kind of considering voting in this election, Trump is going to say stupid shit. He is Trump. We know who he is. Th there's two important questions to ask. Who sees this corruption and institutional capture that's going to destroy our country, I think, to an existential level? And who is willing to suffer that blowback? Who is willing to go up against these military industrial complex, the healthcare industrial complex, the education industrial complex that's making us a non-competitive? Like, they are ready. Who is going to appoint? This is a question I have. Who is? Who do we believe is going to appoint people like RFK, people like Elon Musk, to stir stuff up? Who is going to do that? Like, that to me is the foundational question, and I do consider this the most important election of my lifetime watching these two men because it is so genuine and there is like a genuine desire um, to truly transform, to, to, to see our broken corruption and in institutions for what it is and, and really, truly, I, I think prevent nuclear war <laughs> and dramatically reverse our health crisis. Trump has said that his one big mistake last time was personnel, was that the pharma and the ag slithered in and gave him the list of names. Everybody should ask, do you think RFK is gonna have an influence on those names based on what Trump has said? And I think he is, and I think people like Elon are gonna be involved. I think there's this coalition of people that are coming together and, and Trump's gonna put in power and listen to. And this is a bipartisan issue. And no matter what happens, we have to solve this issue. But I will say this so clearly, with the most conviction I can, we will be on the verge, I think, of a health population collapse, societally destabilizing event, unless true executive leadership sees this corruption and this issue for what it is, and says we need a radical transformation in how we see agriculture and how we see health, our two largest industries. I think we have to have that, and every single member of Congress I meet with, including Democrats, say that in order for this issue to get done, we need a president to make this a priority, to talk as that gives us air cover, and there could be transformational change if a president does that. So that's what I've seen from being in this, and I, and I, I can tell you, President Trump has kept every promise to RFK and deeply cares about this issue.